Don't tell him he can't go to college. Hey, this is Ken Golding here with Illustrated Properties, and I just want to take a second to talk to you about using real estate to fund your child's education. Let's face it, college is expensive. Between tuition, books, room and board, travel, transportation, it can easily exceed 30000 a year, even in a public school. A college education is the best thing you could ever give for your children. The gap between the haves and the have-nots is growing all the time. The best way to stack the deck in favor of your kids is to get them into college. That is the main factor in income over a lifetime. Study after study show that a college education is the difference. College costs are rising all the time. Even the public schools are very expensive. At the end of the day, you really have four ways to pay for a college education. The first of the four ways is that you can just pay for the cost of college right out of your income. This can be a substantial amount and you really need a budget accordingly. The second way is your child can get a job and work while they go through school helping offset the cost. While this is possible, it's much harder on the child. The third method is to get student loans. They're available to your student, but they'll be graduating with an enormous amount of debt right as they're beginning their adult life, and that's not very good. The final way, and the way that's the easiest, is just to pay all of the college costs from assets that you acquire over the life of your child. And I'm speaking about rental property. So let me explain with a few assumptions. The easiest way to pay for it is to buy a rental property when your child is young with 20 to 30 percent down and a 15-year mortgage. By the time your child is old, the property will be paid off. Let me show you. Okay, so let's take a look. For this example, we're going to use a $150,000 property. We want a property that will at least allow us to break even, but income is not really our goal in finding a property, and I'm going to show you why. In fact, for this example, we're going to assume no appreciation, so like in 15 years the property does not go up in value. We're going to assume no rental income, so let's assume that the rent just covers it and that's it. And we're not going to calculate in any of the tax write-offs that you would get. So we're only going to use the mortgage payoff and try to have a break-even rent. This will give you a very conservative model to show you that this is possible. I can go into a lot more detail if you'd like to give me a call. But let's just take a look here. In year one, the day you buy it, because you put $30,000 down, down, you have $30,000 in equity and you have a balance on your loan of 120. After five years, you have $58,000 in equity because every month as your tenant has paid your rent, you pay your mortgage down. At the end of 10 years, you have $87,621 in equity, and at the end of 15 years, your mortgage is paid off and your property is free and clear. Right about the time your child's ready to go to college, the house is paid off. Sell the house and use that money to pay for college. So guess what, buddy? You're going to college. Thanks for listening. And if I can help you with investing in real estate or if you want to sell your house or buy a house, give me a call anytime.